Connecticut's Back to School Authority is sponsored by Yale New Haven Children's Hospital, one of the best in the nation. And of course, Channel 3 is your back to school authority. The semester kicks off today for students in several districts across our state, including in Glastonbury. That's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz, who's live from Glastonbury High School with details on what school will look like there this year. Good morning, Carolina. Good morning, Caitlin. Well, the district here opted for a hybrid plan. So students that are in grades 6 through 12 will return to the classroom, but it'll be a little bit different because they'll be doing some in-classroom learning as well as some e-learning. So the district spent all summer trying to figure out the best plan for this district that would follow the state's recommendations as well as fill in any of the gaps early on in this school year for any learning they didn't get to last year. So here's what they decided. Sixth graders to seniors will be in the classroom two days per week and the other three they are going to be learning from home. They'll be split into cohorts. The first letter of their last name that starts with A through K will be in the building on Monday and Thursday, and then letters L through Z will be in the classroom Tuesdays and Fridays. And then again, they'll each learn from home on Wednesday. Parents can opt out and keep their students home all five days of the week. Kindergartners to fifth graders have the same option or they can attend classroom all five days of the week. The district expects elementary classroom sizes to be a bit smaller this school year based on early numbers that shows that a lot of parents are choosing e-learning and smaller classes will of course allow Allow for better social distancing. The superintendent says the district is ready to adapt. His main focus is on learning and the well-being of students. There's a two-pronged approach um, for, and that starts with safety and then it's, it's the learning. We also had concerns about the social and emotional wellness of all of our students and it's been a tough time for everybody, um, everybody, not just students, but we wanted to make sure that they remained emotionally healthy also. So in addition to figuring out the plans for actual learning, we are told that the district has plans in place for if they come into a scenario where maybe a student or a teacher or staff member tests positive for COVID-19. They definitely have different scenarios to play out there.